Most of the information from today's lesson comes from FaceShift plugins documentation. Do you notice it as this strange URL, but if you just Google Maya FaceShift plugins, it'll bring you to this page. Then you want to double click on this plugin here, and once it downloads, install it. Then it also has videos right here on the page. I had some trouble using them. So if you again use Google, you can find them on Vimo and you'll come to this page here, which has about seven videos, which explain how to use the Maya FaceShift plugin. So going back to our scene, once you've downloaded the plugin, you want to go to the settings and preferences down to the plugin manager. Once that opens, go down to the very bottom and you'll find face shift for Maya and make sure that it, the loaded and auto load boxes are checked. Then close that. And if we go to file and scroll down to the very bottom, you'll see launch face shift for Maya. So if we click that, then it will open up this extra window which is our face shift for Maya plugin. Then we want to go to the expression mapping tab, make sure that our sliders are turned on in our scene. And we'll select all of our slider handles and then come over here and press reset and it will open up this attribute window. But you notice there's only one handle and one attribute translate Y. And the reason for this, if you open up the outliner, is we duplicated all of our sliders. And so every single slider handle has the same name, handle. And we want to change the name of the handle to the naming convention for face shift. So we're going to name the eye blink left, eye blink left, and the right, right, and so on and so forth for every single handle in the 48 blend shapes that we made. If you notice now that we've renamed these two, if you go through the process again, pressing the reset to open up the attribute window, the two names that we've changed show up, but the rest still show up in handle. So once you've renamed all of your handle names, then we'll select all of them, press reset, and you'll notice that all 48 blend shape handles show up in the attribute. Although our translate Y is the only attribute left because we have locked and limited the rest of the attributes for the handle. Now we want to select the top, which is neutral, and we're already in the neutral pose, so we'll click Save Pose, and the neutral pose is now saved. The next we're going to go to Browse Down, and we'll find it in our outliner because these are lifted alphabetically. And we'll lift up the slider for browse down so it changes our mesh to the blend shape. Then we'll click save pose because this is the pose based saving of the attributes for face shift. And then we want to go through each one and select the handle and activate it to its full upper position. And then click save. We'll do that 48 times and get all of our poses saved into the face shift menu. Then we want to go up to mapping and click train. That's important. You have to do that or it won't work. And after we've trained the poses into the plugin, then we'll go back to the live streaming tab. We want to make sure that we have face shift loaded and that our mocap profile is also loaded. Then we'll press connect. And now your face shift program should be plugged into your dazed model. Albeit these are not the best blend shapes and neither is it the best mocap profile, but you get the idea. After several trials, you'll probably get the result that you're looking for.